Sergio Garcia, third shot on the par five. Woods hit a magnificent shot in here, remember? That's pretty good. Well, this is a putt that goes downhill, has a big swing from right to left. So to give Tiger a chance to see how the ball rolls down there is a big advantage. Not far, not short. Definitely a lack of aggression on the greens from the Europeans this afternoon. Well, Sam, you know all there is to know about strategy in these things, and I think that if Garcia would have putted rather than Donald first, he wouldn't have given Tiger a feel for how this putt rolls down the hill. Very good, Jay. Exactly just, right. But on the other hand, if Garcia had missed it, then Tiger would have had potentially two putts to win the hole. Dead. You don't remember too the, the Europeans in this match. They are four up this putt to keep them that way. Quite as much pressure on it. See, that's the putt that he's, he, he knew he could hit that harder, but then hit it so hard, it didn't make any difference. You've got to kind of putt for the right pace for the putt that you have all the time. You do win a hole. No, Tiger, 165 yards, 9-iron. Just won the 10, so a little bit of momentum, the three down, but... seen much of him this week. Huge putt for Donald here. Tigers hit a great shot into about 12 feet. This isn't easy. Go see if a birdie. Is it enough? It is. Is it turning? Oh, it gives Tiger a glimmer. Just to get it back to two down. Stricker there. Garcia second to 12. Fantastic shot by Stricker. He's to draw it in. Has he done it too much? Will it miss the tree? That's a poor shot from Sergio. Now oh, Stricker. Let's take another one back. 112. Beautiful second shot. Straight up the hill, just outside right. Last night, a 
just two down still, six to play in this match. I suspect cut up five iron against the wind is a perfect club here for Tiger. He certainly started on line. He likes it. He is a wonderful shot maker and he's going to relish the fact that Tiger's in there close. He's going to play the same type of shot. One more club. This will be a four and he's going to cut it up against the breeze. Essentially the ball should go straight. for his side, try and make a comeback. Oh, three down, they've pegged it back to just one down. Garcia and Donald just have their nose ahead, but Stricker and Woods in the ascendancy. playing his second to the 14th, trying to get it through a gap in the trees. Oh. A miraculous shot, no way that he could uh, stop it. It's OK, though. Strikers already through the green at 14. Now Woods, just an iron for his second shot to this... Five. Suddenly come alive, Tiger. Oh, the adrenaline. A little bit like the early holes, not finding the length of the shot. Can see it from the back of the 14th. Find a way to get up and down, make the birdie. Oh, steady, steady, steady. Oh! Thought that might have hit the flag. Seen those go in sometimes when it goes like that. Missed by a whisker. That whisker might be all so important. Bunker shot to play in the circumstances. This one uphill, just a hint of the left to right in it, very makeable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't think the Europeans were expecting him to miss after the run he's had over the last few holes. Donald for a half at 14.
Well then look. <laughs> Europeans stay one up. Four to play. Well, the wind is swirling, but it's mostly behind. It's pretty much behind right now. Stricker's already hit. He's just off the back left side of the green in one. Tiger having a go with it. It's 306 all the way up there. 284 to the front edge. Tiger! Get right! Cut! In the same bunker as Paul Sartre and Laurie were. Well, they've really forced the Europeans to go for it if they might have possibly, for some reason, thought about not. It's a lot of will depend upon what Garcia does. If he happens to hit a poor shot, Donald will be forced to lay up. But Garcia is such a wonderful driver and fairway wood player. Not only can he shape the ball, he controls his trajectory. Look for him to start this at that left bunker, kind of middle of the left bunker, and just play a nice little cut shot. straight behind. Those two for you! This one's going a bit left. Jay, the one thing about Donald, he's a wonderful picture of the ball. Rather than try and squeeze it up there with a the driver, do you think he should actually lay it up and try and play a pitch and get his three that way? Well, certainly, Warren, if he goes for the green, he's getting out of what's n his normal game and the strength of his game. He's going to go for it, but I think it's a reasonable question that you asked. And I think the reason it took him a while to get over to the tee, he and John McLaren were actually talking about it. The wind is really pretty strong right now. It's probably a club and a half wind behind him. No easy shot from the left-hand bunker. That is the, the bail outside. his feet but a good lie over there plenty of green to work with but everything is going away from him and this wind is starting to gust the most it has in two days all he has to do is just fly it on the green about three yards and it should release all the way to the hole Garcia has a really tough lie here. Ball way below his feet, a little bit of a downhill lie. Not the ideal situation to be able to control the spin and distance on this one. Jay, I cannot believe the Americans are leaving the Luke Donald's ball there as a backstop for Garcia. Million percent I would have had that marked. I agree, Sam. And I'll bet you Luke Donald goes up and marks it now before the Americans play. Do you think? <laughs> Yeah, Luke Donald got nowhere near that ball to even have a chance to mark it. Looks to be a perfect lie for Woods in this bunker. Warren, you're right, it is. It's a very flat lie. He's so far away from the hole, you wouldn't want an uphill lie. I think it could have been a better position here. close to the hole. 
Yeah, on a Monday. <laughs> Good point, Sam. Definite advantage Europe, and they're one up. Everyone is just waiting for someone to make a putt. And this one is a very fast downhill putt. Short. He wouldn't have believed he could have left that short, and it was right in the middle, too. Well, Stricker. Has this downhill putt as well. I had a good look at it. I didn't see any break to it. It'll be hard to say to play it outside the hole one way or the other. Oftentimes, that's the most difficult putt. Up to Tiger to make the birdie for the Americans. Well, good news for Tiger is he's putting uphill. It's going to slide just a little bit from left to right. He's holed a lot of meaningful putts in his career, and this one would be another one. This is going to give them a chance to hang in there because I certainly feel that Donald will make his. Absolutely, Jay. Hold a great one on 14. And 13. To go two up with three to play. Must make putt here for Donald. And absolutely in the centre. Very timely up and down for Luke Donald to make. Much appreciated by Garcia. Never hit a thing. Just caught the rough, Jay. It's, it's about 25, 30 yard shot. The green, good position to make four. It's a good shot from where he was. It was. He got a nice uphill line. That'll help him stop it quick. Talking of Tiger on the upslope here. Huge tee shot he hit. Should they get a lot of control with this second? A bit of magic here, Garcia. Get underneath the ball, get some height on this to stop from the semi rough. Not bad, but from the lie that he had, he might have hoped to get that one a bit closer. Well, Stricker has this downhill left to right or to win the hole, get back to one down. Chip it up there, it's essentially a gimme. He's from about two, two and a half feet. That was an unbelievable chip from where he was. Oh, it was one of his best of all time, and he might be the best around the greens in this day and age. Not a dissimilar putt to what he missed in the previous hole. A little bit uphill with a hint of left to right in it. And it's certainly started to cool down in the last 20 minutes, especially on this green, being it's in the shade. give it much more than a ball outside left, if that much. 
The good news is he can take a little bit of break out of it if he wants to. Stricker's in and four. There's no fear of missing. shot there. You wouldn't want to have to bet on Tiger missing that one. Garcia teeing off from a little bit closer to the right side. The teeing ground. He's going to try and play a cut up against the wind. Certainly makeable. this option. Sergio's going to go first. It would have been an idea for Luke to tap it in, but if he missed it, it's not good. Leave it there. Tiger thinks he's going to haul it. Garcia can certainly hold this. This for birdie. The one up. This is just an inside right putt. And just let it eat down the hill. arena around the 17th just as there was at the 13th and Tiger Woods has to hold this and put a little bit of pressure on Luke Donald if it does anything do you it's gonna go a little bit right to left but I wouldn't want to give the hole away
Nash Bear bogeyed the ninth to go four down. Picked up six birdies on the way back. And are now just one down. Five of them from this man. Exactly. You can hear a pin drop. It's quite extraordinary in golf how they can do that. down the fairway. Donald to follow. Well, he's, he's having a go. This is five or six iron. He's trying to launch it up in the air to the right and hook it back. Too bad, really. should fall from left to right. 
right, but it'd be easy to see it hang out on the left. It's not an easy one to read. Sergio Garcia hasn't made a birdie since the fifth hole. He made three in the first five. He hasn't had one since. But this one would win the match. Safely down the fairway. We'll get to them in a moment, I promise you. This putt is huge for Sergio Garcia and for Europe. Edge putt, but I suspect Sam will go inside the hole, hit this firm, take out some break, try and jam it in there. another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.